Now, uh, I want to talk about you a little bit. So we talked enough Amazon, and I want the world to know Stephen Pope, who Stephen Pope is. So I know you are a driven person. So tell me how, uh, tell us where you grew up and, and how you got to be. I mean, I, I'm not talking about your resume. I'm talking about you growing up as a kid. How does Stephen the kid grow, grow up to be such a driven person? What's driving him? Well, I, I mean, back in school, I, I dabbled in everything. I was, I was on the yearbook club. I was in the debate club. I was the chess club president. I was involved in sports and did everything I possibly could academically soup to nuts. I love to compete. I love to win. Uh, you know, I did, I was on scholarship for, for debate uh, at the, coll the collegiate level. Uh, I beat Harvard's B team at a national tournament is probably one of my biggest wins. Uh, beat them on a cheap shot, by the way. They forgot to read their 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 plan text uh, that I borrowed right before the round. Um, <clears throat> so there are chances and opportunities to to win uh, and and to do so at at high levels. And I seek to do that every chance I get. Uh, so I've I've just had a, a life of pushing through, uh, going through brick walls one after another being told I can't do something and saying, screw you, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, you know, Elon Musk style, if you will. And, and it's, it's been a, a, a very fulfilling life for me uh, to be able to troubleshoot and solve problems, play chess. Uh, I, I taught chess lessons to make most of my income uh, as a teenager. Uh, I taught in over 50 elementary schools in Utah. Uh, and, and strategically speaking, just knowing how to think ahead dozens of moves deep, uh, and to take the time to strategize and control the the center of the board and move your pieces and develop them out into the into the world. And now I've got five kids and a business, and those are my kids and chess pieces now. And so I'm like, yeah, go out into the world. Let's see how you guys do. Uh, so I'm I'm a driven person because I want to I want to build something that outlives me, and and you know like not just like one or two generations, but like you know ten generations, something that will outlive me indefinitely if possible so that's the mission i'm on so what why why do you feel that when, as a kid you became so competitive was it in the family or your, your uh, did your were your parents entrepreneurs or athletes or where did that come from uh my father has the high drive in the family uh but like my my brothers we didn't really have any rivalry or anything like that uh, my mom was a perfectionist, uh, so she wanted us to do good in school, but I got straight A's, so she didn't really push me that much. Uh, and my father was a weatherman uh, who uh, ran track in college, but that's about it. So um, I, 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 think, I think it's because, you know, as a super introvert, I didn't necessarily get uh, the social accolades that a teenager normally seeks and prioritizes. And so I was seeking something that would uh, propel me in life. I was like, high school is a waste of time. What am I doing here? This is stupid. Why, why are people spending four years, you know, wasting away here? And then I go to college and I felt the same way. And I'm like, this is stupid again. Like, like I don't drink. I don't want to party. I, I, I want to get to business. I want to, I want to move forward. I want to build my career. And so I think a lot of people, uh, are like me. They struggle to get through, uh, some of these social norms, uh, that people have to do. The nice thing about Amazon is it accelerates the possibilities, right? If, if Amazon had existed like it does today, when I was in college, I think I might have dropped out of college and went all in on it, right? I'm not telling anybody to do that, to be clear. Yeah. I probably would have done it. <laughs> so, Yeah. So, I mean, it, like, for example, when I was growing up as a kid, I just wanted to leave home, be independent, live on my own. And that was my driver. So in your case... Why did you, as a kid, is it being introvert something to do with it that you wanted to uh, put your energy into things on your own rather than through interaction? Or what was the drive? Uh, abs absolutely, I would always get let down by teammates who wouldn't see the world the same way as me, and so I, I I made a terrible partner. I would be like my way or the highway, and I had to learn over time how to be collaborative and uh, you know build up partnerships and stuff like that. Um, but 
I, I, I was just, I felt like I got to the answer faster. I felt like I, I, I knew how to cut through the drab and, and just, just get to the heart of like, here's what makes movement. Right. And I had the agility and the speed to make it happen as one small example. Uh, I was in high school. We had a candle fundraiser for choir trip. Uh, the second we had the ability to go out and sell, I went that same day and I hit the whole neighborhood. Well, two or three days later, when all the other teams are trying to hit the neighborhood, I freaking sold every single person already. What now? $1,500 later, I've got the entire neighborhood sold candles, right? And I've paid for my choir trip and extra cash on the side. So like that, to me, it's like, okay, why wait? Go, focus, drive, win, right? The equation was simple to me. Uh, so that's been my whole life. You know, I, I made this agency in under 48 hours, right? Like I got laid off. I'm like, okay, I'm going to start an agency, right? Didn't have to think about it. The vision I set out, in those first 48 hours still intact today. Right. It, it's, it's, it was just obvious to me. Well, I mean, uh, to, you know how it is. It's obvious to you that a lot of people can't see it. So that's the, that's the beauty of it. It's so that's also the curse, right? 